Alana Bush with your CIG TV News Brief on this Thursday. Residents in the Cayman Islands still have the chance to learn more about the nine new waste management facilities that will form Regen, Cayman's Energy and Recycling Center, at the final of three public meetings scheduled for today, June the 10th. It's all part of the environmental impact assessment for the project. Now, the draft terms of reference, which will act as a roadmap for the environmental studies that form the EIA, have been published. Prior to publishing, the draft terms of reference were agreed by the project's Environmental Assessment Board, which includes representatives from the Department of Environment, Department of Environmental Health, Department of Planning, National Roads Authority, and Water Authority came in. The environmental impact assessment will focus on the design and impact of the nine planned regen facilities. Located south of the existing landfill in Grand Cayman, the facilities include an energy recovery facility and additional recycling infrastructure. Now, the draft terms of reference are available online at doe.ky. Hard copies are also available. Now, throughout the 21-day consultation period, Remediation of landfill started March of 2020 and will be completed in phases, scheduled completion rather by 2023. In other news, Minister for Tourism, the Honorable Kenneth Bryan and Parliamentary Secretary Heather Bodden visited the Cayman Airways corporate offices to meet the staff and learn more about the inner workings of the island's national flag carrier recently. Accompanied by senior civil servants, Minister Bryan visited several departments, including the sections handling finance and accounting, security and safety, human resources, marketing and commercial operations. The minister also toured the airline's reservations and call center and met with Cal staff members who are currently seconded to travel Cayman while the borders are closed. Minister Bryan noted that employees are clearly happy, he says, and proud to be working for Cayman Airways, as well as there's a strong sense of corporate unity and cooperation. And speaking of tours, Home Affairs Minister the Honorable Bernie Bush continues to tour the various entities that fall under his ministry as well. Minister Bush toured all three fire stations on Grand Cayman last week, accompanied by Chief Fire Officer Paul Walker and Acting Chief Officer for the Home Affairs Ministry, Michael E. Banks. Mr. Bush met officers and received briefings on the facilities and resources located at each station. He also got a first-hand look at fire and rescue equipment used by the officers. The minister says he's impressed by plans to develop the Cayman Islands as a center of excellence that provides opportunities for continuous learning, education, and professional development, and that the Home Affairs Ministry was fully supportive of these objectives. Emphasizing the importance of investing in firefighters, the Home Affairs Ministry minister expects to tour services on Cayman Brac in person in the near future. Well, the Lighthouse School is inviting the public to attend its Family Fun Day next Saturday, the 19th of June, starting at 9 in the morning. Now, the Fun Day is aimed at celebrating the awesomeness of autism and will feature music, a bouncing castle, and face painting. Now, if you'd like to attend this event and support the cause, you may contact Acting Principal of the Lighthouse School, Ms. Janice Headley, by email at jheadley at lhs.edu.ky or the Autism Spectrum Disorder Committee Chair, Ms. Laura Brind, by email at lbrind, that's B-R-I-N-D, at lhs.edu.ky. Taking a look now at today's forecast, which shows the high temperature at 89 degrees, the low 78. We can expect partly cloudy skies becoming cloudy at times with a 40% chance of showers and possible thunder. Winds are from the east to southeast at 5 to 10 knots, while seas are slight with moderate heights, wave heights of 1 to 3 feet. Isolated showers with light easterly winds and seas will continue across the Cayman Islands area for the next 24 hours. As a ridge of high pressure system lingers north of the Caribbean Sea, radar images show isolated showers in and around the Cayman Islands area that is moving towards the west. A reminder that you can find the latest on local weather conditions online at weather.gov.ky. And that's it for today's news brief here on CID Television. I'm Donna Bush. As always, thanking you for joining us and wishing you a wonderful and, of course, a safe evening.